Now, see here the volume of 500 gram sealed packet is 350 centimeter cube. Will the packet float or sink in water if the density of water is 1 gram per centimeter cube? What will be the mass of the water displaced by this packet? So, we have done previous question in the same manner. So, first we will calculate density of the substance. The density of packet. So, density of packet is equal to mass upon volume. So, 500 gram divided by 350 centimeter cube. So, this this will get cancelled. This is 10 and 7. So, that is 10 by 7 gram per centimeter cube. But density of water is 1 gram per centimeter cube, which is greater obviously density of the packet. So, the density of packet is greater than density of water. So, that is therefore, packet will sink. So, packet will sink in this case. Now, you have to find out what will be the mass of the water displaced. So, as I have told you, the weight of the liquid displaced is equal to buoyant force. You have done this thing is here. So, simply the density is 1. So, we can go whatever the mass of the liquid will be displaced that will be equal to just volume of this. So, we can write simply here mass of the water displaced is equal to you can write here 350 centimeter cube into 1 gram per centimeter cube that will be equal to only 350 grams. So, mass of the liquid displaced that means water displaced is equal to just 350 gram. Now, see in this example a block of wood is kept on a table top. The mass of the wooden block is 5 kg and its dimensions are 40 centimeter into 20 centimeter into 10 length, breadth and height. Find the pressure exerted by the block if it is made to lie on the table top with its sides of the dimensions 20 centimeter and 10 centimeter. So, we can take in this way see here when this side is here. So, this means the area on the table top will be area is equal to 20 centimeter into 10 centimeter that will be 200 centimeter square that will be here we can convert into meter. So, point we can take here 0 to meter square in this case. So, now see area is 200 centimeter square, we can convert into the meter square. So, that will be here 0 0.02 meter square. Now, force, force will be the weight of the block. So, force is equal to weight of the block that is equal to weight formula is m into g, m is equal to 5 kg into g is 9.8 meter per second square. So, you will be getting weight is 49 Newton. So, weight is this that means thrust, area is this that means here the area which is uh, actually touching the surface. So, pressure is equal to very simple force upon area. So, you will be getting 49 divided by 0 0.02 Newton per meter square that will be equal to 2450 Newton per meter square or 2450 Pascal. So, you can calculate pressure just by calculating force and area. If this block, whatever the block is given, is placed on the table top with the different orientations, so obviously pressure will be different.